Hi, welcome to another episode of the Gadget Lab Show. I'm Nathan Olivares Giles. I'm Christina Bonington. And this week we're taking a look at ridiculous iPhone accessories and the death of Google Reader. So first up, Christina Bonington has some really kind of what wacky uh, nuts stuff. Yeah. So you know, just for fun, we decided to round up some funny, fun, bizarre iOS accessories and. Uh, yeah, so here's one of the ones that we found. It is a, uh, it's a charger, and it is uh, uh, a flask. flask. Yeah, so I like it. I like it. It's less yeah. nerdy, you know. So instead of having, you know, this charger that's clearly a charger, now your friends can, you know, be all like, "Oh, you're just an alcoholic, not not a nerd," um, you know. So if that's your thing, or a nerdy alcoholic. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind, it's kind yeah. of hefty. Yeah. Um, it comes with a couple of different. Uh, connector cables and so it's got two USB ports right there and yeah pretty yeah. cool. So I can hook this up this looks like uh, micro USB I can hook it up to an Android yeah. can work with the iPhone it even says tablet here can yes. we charge an iPad off of my back yes. pocket yes. yeah that's cool yes. that's cool what else you got? Um, another one we got is kind of futuristic it is a laser uh, this little thing um, shoots out a laser keyboard which you can use and it actually works better than I thought it would um, Let's see. It projects projects a keyboard onto a flat surface, and then you can type. Uh, syncs over Bluetooth. Um, it does not work if you if you want to do it like on your lap or something that's uneven. It won't work at all. Um, it's and you can get it from ThinkGeek. That's pretty cool. It, what's it like actually tapping on a hard surface? Because that seems like it might you know annoy my fingertips after a while. You know, it senses uh, your your touch, so it's just kind of it's. It's not too bad. It's kind of interesting. I do more like finger finger tapping yeah, than full more, hand more typing. Yeah, more hunting than f full hand typing. Right on. I dig yep. it. And then the last thing we've got, which is actually so, it seems kind of ridiculous to me, but I could see it. I mean, I can certainly see it being useful to parents. It's um, like a toddler toy that you can put an iPhone in the middle, and it's got a mirror on the other side, and it's got you know wow. the teething rings. Um, you know, this just you know. Anything, you know, you can be a good parent or a bad parent with <laughs> giving your kids your, your iOS devices or whatever, but this totally just seems like a really easy way to be like bad parent and be like, here kid, just play on your on the iPhone with this and you can chew on it and you can play Angry Birds. Is it um, waterproof? Tell me it's waterproof. It's um, gotta I, be. I, don't I mean, slobber it's... and, you know, knocked over drinks and... I don't believe it's waterproof. It no. does have a protective case on the front, so... Um, you know, it's protected, and then the back, it, your iPhone locks in, so they won't be able to get the iPhone out. Fisher Price quality too. That's yeah. good yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's good. It's good quality. Then mess Price. around. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, you can see a full gallery of all these different crazy accessories on Gadget Lab. Christine put that together, and create, including like a crazy. Isn't there like a crazy hand iPhone yeah, case? Yeah, there's some weird iPhone cases on yeah. there too. Yeah. So take a look. All right, Matt Honan, he's here to talk to us about a dear old friend who's going to be riding off into the sunset. That's right, Nate. Google Reader, everybody's, or nearly everybody's favorite news uh, reader application. It's a uh, web-based RSS uh, feed manager from Google. Uh, is going away. They announced that it's, they're going to kill it on July 1st, 2013. It's heartbreaking. It's sad. It's devastating. It's terrible news. Tell me more. Well, it is all those things, and not at all unforeseen. Sadly, like the uh, you know they haven't been updating it just about at all for years. Yeah, it launched in two thousand five, and, and it's been it's gotten a few new features, but none uh, no, no significant ones in the past several years, other than stuff taken away. Yeah, I mean I think like last month we saw it go down, and Google didn't even bother to acknowledge that for a few days. Uh, the last time there was really an update to it, though, before that was in 2011 when they took away its sharing functions and rolled those as just plus one buttons. So, I mean, what about monetizing it? There, there's no ad space. Can they make any money off this thing? Is that why they're killing it? I mean, it's not making any money, but they, I'm sure they could. You know, if you think about it, it really dominates that RSS reader market, and that tends to be a, probably a market of people who are reading a lot every day, which means you're probably talking about people with an education, which means you're probably talking about people who have money. Yeah. You know, and those are people who are valuable readers. Uh, and so it's a little bit surprising they haven't ever monetized it. But, you know, certainly uh, I think other people are going to rush in that space and try and fill this void and figure out what to do. And another way it seems like they could have monetized it are so many apps yeah. use Google Reader. This is going to affect so many apps. It really was the defining RSS 
you know, feed, you know, reading app. Like there's yeah. really nothing else out there that matches it. it. I think it's a major bummer that it's going to be going away. But where, where do we go from here? You know, if you're one of those folks who has, you know, 100 different feeds coming yeah. into Google Reader every day, what, what are you going to do now? Can you can you, you can export something you can else. export yeah you can download your data and export I mean Google makes it pretty easy to export your data and then there are all, there's already kind of a land rush going on mm -hmm. of companies rushing into fill the void who want to make it a really seamless thing like I saw something from Feedly yesterday uh, basically saying they're building a Google Reader clone and that if you sign up with them it'll be a seamless transition uh, Dig.com announced that they are going to rush out a uh, alternative to Google Reader and they're now being being run by a former Googler right. They are being run by a former Googler, yeah. And okay. uh, so, I mean, it's going to be a, uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting couple of months, I think, as we see, like, because there hadn't been a whole lot of innovation in that space. I mean, Google Reader so no. defined that market that there wasn't yeah. much innovation. It could be good, you know, it could be really it, good. It, it might be a good thing. Is Google offering any alternatives, maybe something with Google Plus, or are they just kind of saying, forget it? I mean, I think they're just sort of saying, forget it. I think, you know, the, the thing is, there are all these petitions like, save Google Reader. Yeah. Google, please don't kill Reader. Well, the thing is, Google knows exactly how many people are using Google yeah. Reader, exactly how long they're spending in it, exactly what they're doing. Like, Google knows. Like, Google has analytics. Resistance is futile, yeah. basically. And, uh, yeah, and, you know, I mean, they, they, you know, I'm sure they have found that people are getting their news from other signals, and that's probably why they're moving on. That's, that's a guess. But, you know, I mean, it seems like they're, they're seeing people get their news from Google Plus or get their news from Twitter. Yeah. and and they've decided that that's where the, where the future is. Well, Google is moving on. I, I guess we should too. So I guess that's it for this episode of the Gadget Lab show. Uh, tune in next week as we'll have more insane, cool, awesome stuff. Hopefully no more beloved products shutting down though.